Today is day three of tree surgery and today he is cutting up the the big tree that um, you saw come down. It's massive, massive. It's, uh, it, I, I mean it shouldn't shock me but it does. It's like when the trees are standing, not that one particularly, but there were two cherry trees that he took down. And when they're standing they look really they don't seem you don't see how tall they are or how thick the girth of the trunk is and now they're laying on the ground the cherry trees i can see quite how thick they are <clears throat> but he's cutting up the big tree today um and and then he's got one more tree to bring down which is the one in the chicken run and so he said he wanted the chickens out today so i let them out and then i worried about them getting under his feet or under his chainsaw because he's working on this tree up here and um, he said it's okay they're running away from me which is just as well because I tried to contain them in this this back uh, this back piece of garden that's, that's fenced off but of course the fence came down with the cherry tree this end so I think they've hopped over it I know Ida did yesterday so um, so that's what he's doing it's a wet day here we're really tired we're not used to having um, constant um, stuff going on around us as well as you know you know we're not used to that so we're, we're quite tired mark's gone back to bed lucky bastard um but he's he's just so tired he's he normally will get up around about eight o'clock sit and look at the news drink a glass of a pint of water and then take himself back off to bed and have another couple of hours which is what he does you know he's 75 and that's fine but he's not been able to do that so the last couple of days he's not gone back so he's got quite grumpy at times and um so he's gone back today so i'm quite pleased i had a really crap night but that's calm d'habitude for me i'm used to that so um we've had some it's been a good week in terms of um feeling that we're making progress we've got <clears throat> a confirmed date for um the the ceilings in here and the ceilings in the kitchen and the all of that is now confirmed so um it's about just over three weeks away so i'm really really pleased about that because it felt that felt precarious with us coming you know with with moving towards us going away and house sitters coming in it's really nice to know that's going to be well and truly over and done with so we've got a removal firm coming in on the Friday before the work commences to pack up everything and move everything and take it away for storage. So I just need to make sure that I have sorted out the freezer in the kitchen and the fridge in the kitchen. It will need to stay running, but, and it can't be moved because it is so bloody big. Um, but I need to make sure I haven't got anything in there that um, will not be okay for two or three weeks because we're going to be living upstairs for three weeks. I'm dreading it. Um, the only godsend about that is that we our bed is up there, so every time every time I run out of steam, I can just go and lay on the bed and read or relax. So um, otherwise, I'm not really looking forward to it. But it has to be done, and it's going to be so nice to get this this room sorted. And um, the um, the enterprise guy came over yesterday, and and he's given us colour charts to look at. We've sorted that. To choose the colours for the walls in here to get away from this horrible it isn't magnolia i think it's ivoire but i mean how many how many tints of a magnolia are there so we're going to get rid of that and i can't open it my hands hurt like fuck so and it's thick i'll show you it it's really thick to manage yeah i can't open it but we have chosen the colour mark's not so impressed but i am I thought for once I'm going to make the choice because I never really get to choose. He chose the colour of the volley. Um, so that's going to be done in about just over three weeks. And then I got an email from the plumber saying they'll start next week and come and do the um, put the new shower in and the new sink unit. I think that's only going to take them a day. Really pleased that's not going to happen at the same time as this room and the kitchen. So that's good. So that will be done next week which leaves then the micro station which we're still waiting on paperwork to be signed off for that it has to go to the water company to be signed off and then it has to go to the mayor to be signed off and i haven't asked him he's my neighbor where that tree came down yesterday i haven't asked him i could ask him if he signed any paperwork i might do that um so once that's signed off they can come and put the micro station in and um so that'll be done and then the new shutters um 
and all the paintwork outside will be done at the beginning of April. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah. So it's really reassuring and pleasing because it's been causing me anxiety. Um, not that I'm going to get rid of any stress at the moment, but it's been causing me anxiety thinking, you know, when we go away in May, uh, will any of these jobs be left over? How close to our holiday will it be that we're still trying to get the house back in order? And it looks like we'll have three or four weeks to be able to do that. So we'll be able to gradually do that. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. I think that's that. Um, so that's it really. Um, I can't think whilst I'm standing here of any questions anybody's asked. Um, I've told you about the trees, told you why they're coming down. He said to, oh I know, um, the wood where it's dropped and where he's cut it and piled it, he said the best thing to do with that is to leave it, just leave it to sit there for several months, let it get dried out in the sun, let it settle, let all the bugs come out of it and then in a few months time you can then um, sort it and stack it um, because that way he said you, you otherwise you just keep moving it and every time you move wood or somebody moves wood for you you're paying them so he said just leave it where it is so he's going to leave it in very large tiny piles very large tiny piles very large piles tidy piles and we've got to work out how to get rid of all the brush because you're not allowed to have bonfires um, Ludo had a bonfire here a year ago um, and I could go to the mayor and ask Mary and ask if we could have a bonfire. Um, that would be ideal because we go, we've got no trees out there now really that we could find a space in the garden to have a bonfire and just gradually burn through the through the brush because otherwise it's all got to be trailered to the Deschetri and we don't run a trailer, we don't have a trailer. Um, and it's a lot of trips backwards and forwards to the Deschetri because there's going to be a lot of brush. So we'll see. So yeah, that's what he's doing, breaking up the trees even more, bring down the last tree and that's it. I don't think he'll be back tomorrow. He did, I think he allowed three days and I think he certainly got a day's work here, that's quite a lot. I said to him about that big tree, um, that's going to take some, you know, that's a lot of work. He said, I'm going to get my big boy out. So he's got a massive um, engined chainsaw, I can't, he said it's a motorbike engine size and it really, really cuts through like butter, so not something you want to slice yourself with. Voila, <clears throat> so that's it, it's just gone half past ten, I've already had two coffees, perhaps I'll have a decaf. Hope you're having a good day and um, see you all soon.